Nissan and the media are claiming that their all solid state EV batteries are one step closer to becoming a reality. Does that mean that they actually will be a reality or do they just one step closer? Well, let's have a quick look. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, great to have you with us. Uh, Nissan, their big bet on solid state EV batteries. To be honest, Nissan are basically admitting that they are praying for a Hail Mary to save the company, that their solid state batteries, if those work out, they would save them. Um, data suggests that Nissan is gonna go bankrupt within two years. That's what the most predictive analysis data is saying right now. So if they can pull this off, then it would be a game-changing move for the company. When will we see these batteries? <laughs> Here's what Electric says. You may have heard all solid state batteries referred to as the holy grail of EV batteries due to claims that they can double driving range and cut charging times by one third compared to current lithium ion batteries. However, so far, you can't actually buy an EV with them. There are multiple EVs being tested on the road right now with solid state batteries and very likely they're gonna come within a couple of years. But Nissan is one of many automakers, startups and other companies racing to be the first to get their EVs with solid state batteries to market. This would be a huge coup. Whoever can do this first, whoever can start selling electric cars with solid state batteries, proper ones, um, not the semi-solid state ones from China, but proper solid state batteries, whoever is first, imagine the marketing coup this is gonna be. It's gonna be just front page news everywhere, right? After securing a new partnership with US-based LICAP Technologies last month, Nissan took another big step toward launching all solid state batteries on a mass scale, says Electric. I personally am still skeptical. One of the biggest hurdles automakers are facing is producing the new tech on a mass scale. It's costly to build the manufacturing lines and equipment and the process of actually assembling the batteries takes a long time. And battery degradation for solid state batteries is still too high. For most of them, that's the biggest challenge, right? The big one of the big advantages of sodium ion batteries is they last probably around twice as long as lithium ion phosphate from the initial data we're seeing. But so, but solid state batteries cost a lot more, as in a lot lot more, as in around ten times more, and don't last as long. Nissan believes it has the answer. Using Lightcap's proprietary activated dry electrode technology, Nissan is using a dry electrode production process similar to what Tesla has been aiming to do. Since the process doesn't use a solvent to coat the surface, it eliminates the need for drying for ovens and messing around with all this wet slurry, so it's more efficient, it's cheaper to manufacture, and more energy dense as well. Nissan says it now has significant advantages in all solid state EV battery production and performance. The company said that using Lightcap's tech will significantly reduce manufacturing costs with minimal environmental impact. But it does call into question. Nissan had been claiming for years they had advanced solid state batteries that were nearly ready for market. Why did it need to join recently with Lightcap to actually get the technology it needed for these solid state batteries if it already had that technology before this recent partnership? That doesn't make sense, does it? Anyway, according to Nikkei, Nissan took another big step toward commercializing the new battery tech after prototype cells reached performance targets set for mass production. Unfortunately, though, Nissan did not mention the energy density of these batteries, which is strange. This is one of the big things that companies will announce publicly. They'll say, here's the energy density, here's what we, here are the details, but we don't have that information. Here's the charging speed, we don't have that information, none of it. Anyhow, Nissan is aiming for 70% improvement or reduction in energy consumption, 65% reduction in manufacturing footprint, a 70% reduction in carbon footprint, and a 20% capex reduction. That's a big deal. But they're making some pretty wild promises here, guys. They're aiming to achieve a cost of 75 US dollars per kilowatt hour, which is $25 per kilowatt hour cheaper than current lithium NMC batteries a little bit more expensive than lithium ion phosphate, which is sitting at around 60 US dollars per kilowatt hour. They're saying they can do that within a few years time, by 2028. That would mean the price for a solid state battery from Nissan will be 30% below the average battery pack price worldwide in 2024, 30% below. The Japanese automaker plans to launch its first vehicles powered by solid state batteries in 2020. Also, 
my solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay zero dollars for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Guys, I personally think that you're better off going down to the casino and sticking some money in a slot machine than betting on Nissan actually achieving what they say they're going to do with solid state batteries. As I said before, they're making a lot of promises. Strangely, these promises were contingent upon a new deal with US company LICAP within the last six months uh, in order to use dry electrodes, right? Now, if Nissan really was close to achieving solid state batteries at these crazy prices of $75 per kilowatt hour, when experts say that solid state batteries cost closer to $1,000 per kilowatt hour, why do they have to make that recent deal to make that happen? I honestly think that Nissan has zero chance of hitting $75 per kilowatt hour for solid state batteries within 10 years. And I don't think these batteries will are likely to hit the market within 10 years either. I think it's highly unlikely. But I would love to be proven wrong. Honestly, if Nissan can do this, great, fantastic news. Like I said though, statistically the chances of this happening are incredibly unlikely, especially by 2028, and especially at Nissan's claims of $75 per kilowatt hour at the pack price, which is absolutely wild. Nissan is basically saying our solid state batteries will be far cheaper by an order of magnitude than anyone else in the market, anyone. Then they're going to be number one in cost worldwide. How? We don't know. No one knows. As I said, guys, this is likely a Hail Mary for Nissan, and I think they know it. But they want their investors to believe that this magical Hail Mary is coming in 2028, and therefore, don't sell your stock. Hold it. Hold it. Well, that's going to be very, very dangerous. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.